Yeah, so I'm gonna be making a part two of this diary. Cause, um, there's been, uh, I've just got a lot more stuff to talk about. Like, first, on um, how I have pretty much fell myself to sleep. I've pretty much fell to sleep, like, at pretty, uh, like, at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and bloody hell was it painful. It's almost my bones were getting broken, like, as well as my brain. Like, I've never been like that ever since, like, um, 6th primary, or maybe 5th primary. Like, usually sleeping at these early times or not really early times weren't doing to me that much but oh well but then eventually I have barely woke up and barely eaten something and um, still shaking my brain's still shivering it's like uh, pretty much 11 or something outside right now Cause our goddamn home is completely like a fucking ice. Although we have closed every single window. Like literally every single window. Even the kitchen and the bathroom. Freaking windows. And there's still some goddamn cold coming into my hand. Like what the hell? But the nicest stuff about this is that... I'm back into, and slowly going back into being addicted into police knots. No, actually, it's Snatcher, the one that I'm getting more addicted to nowadays. Oh, and, and, but later on, there will be police knots to get addicted on. And especially the PC-88 version, holy shit. Like, after like a year and a half of attempting to emulate the PC-88 version, I mean 98 version, it took, like, it was quite amazing. Really. It was quite amazing and crazy how, how everything from speech to sound effects to music and everything, only where to come on a pretty big pretty big sized disc and by big sized disc I mean it's probably weighing a lot of megabytes 500 megabytes or something I can't really recall that but it's pretty amazing and uh, the many pixel art graphical details like just goddamn also, I really wish someone would be translating that, but I bet that it's gonna be already harder, cause it's the PC-98, it's a PC-98 game, disc slash boot disc game, not to mention that it contains a lot of, you know, dialogue mechanics and whatsoever. And, of course, there aren't going to be any subtitles, so, like, unlike the, unlike the PS1, or, or the Saturn, the PC-88 doesn't have any kind of subtitle option, but, it could at least be, you could at least translate the, the freaking good old dialogue sections and the point and click and the buttons and everything. <sighs> uh, let me tell you. Damn. <sighs> As with Snatcher, like the only two versions that really need to be fan translated are the the MSX. No, I mean the PC-88, the, aka the original, and the PC Engine version. 
And of course, sometimes I want that version to be translated and dubbed with the mega CDs uh, mixed up. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it's just as crazy. And yeah, Snatch is just that great. And of course, later on, I'm gonna be going all hammy on Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. But I wouldn't be going in that big on Metal Gear Solid. But anyways, but anyways, Snatcher is probably gonna be my main focus on playing. I was gonna try and am gonna bring out some remixes I've made for 190 Neo Kobe. Yeah, the opening intro music for the game on the Mega CD and the PC Engine, Saturn PS1. And yeah. It's just that it's just that good sometimes. And Snatcher's just that great. It's a pretty old and everything but still golden as hell and although although I might still be having those goddamn thoughts and still been struggling not struggling to forget about it still coming these goddamn thoughts about me what I could have done to make sure that this didn't happen, or what I could have said or pointed out. Yeah, but honestly, honestly, I don't think I should be thinking. Because, honestly, I'm kind of happy that I'm banned. Because now I won't get to even bother with anyone. And I'm going to just block. And literally isolate myself. I'm gonna stick only to my very small circle. Yeah, my remaining small circle. Because honestly, like I said at the morning while I was at college, which by the way, there wasn't any freaking lectures today, which was a big surprise and a really big, really big help. Hello. Anyways. Like I just said, the morning. That the, the fact that the human being is a sociable person or a sociable creature is a complete fucking lie nowadays. Now, the human just want to kill the other humans. Just like how I want to destroy everything nowadays. And the fact that in mm, fact, that there are people who are still so sociable, even though they have had, even though they have had like similar experiences with like many goddamn people during the years, it still baffles me how there are still most of them that trust people. I don't. Like, okay, I don't, and I will never trust anyone. And if like, and like, say all, like say all you want, but I'm not trusting or opening up anymore. The only way I'm gonna be opening up is to, is by literally making these. These are what pretty much keep my mind off a little bit, and let off a little bit of my voice, cause. That's pretty much the only way I can talk to people in voice. I know I have had, I've, I have some people I could just talk to on the, on the voice call, but personally, I've never even made any type of voice calls except on that day. And let me tell you, let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes I just want to stick it in. Literally, I just want to 
find any kind of teleporter and teleport to one of them and live with them like forever. <sighs> and honestly, honestly, all I wanted was literally a person. Literally a person to hear me out. Just like how I am talking to a wall. To understand. To even, like, judge me, but rationally for fuck's sake. I mean, sure. Like, sure, you can just call me whatever you want or judge me or whatever, but... With fucking reason, please. With some fucking reason. Because... This is what we are doing. We're literally doing everything and without any kind of reason <sighs> and like legit people and like legit, legit other people wonder why they're getting bombed why they're getting killed why they're why they're why the villains are right yeah every villain is right and they were always right because we humans are fucking stupid. We never learn. And legit, as, some, as long as someone who knows the past, humanity, humanity literally is not gonna fucking stop being a fucking idiot. You know? Like, as long as there's someone who knows the past and still holds on to it and completely want to fuck other around people's lives for it we are all gonna fucking die okay we are all gonna fucking die if we just keep going with holding on to the past and shove it in someone's face and fuck them up for it like so someone has killed 50 years ago and he's still alive after 50 years we're gonna literally just keep on holding it until he literally just keeps shoving it in his face and make a fucking execution motherfucking sentence after 50 years? Or someone has stolen something from 12 years and he's alive after 12 years. You're gonna literally give him a sentence for for something that they did 12 years ago? Like, come on. Or just because, or just because, like, we can just do it. <sighs> and what's even more ironic, that those people, I've looked up to them. I've really looked up to them a lot. And what I got was was being looked down at like why just why <sighs> but then again like the joker said and we all been saying many times we live in a society it's a society that will never fucking stop being a complete bitch. As long as they hold the past and want to shove it into their faces because of it, there's just no way, no way, no way in a fucking million, an even one in a million's chance that humanity will ever progress. Well, that's all for today. And tomorrow I'm going to be making another. And see you later.